Beyond spreadsheets, there's more to budgeting. Did you know there's more to budgeting than just spreadsheets? It's true. While spreadsheets are a great tool, they can sometimes be overwhelming and confusing. Some folks, they see all those boxes and numbers, and their eyes glaze over faster than a donut at a Weight Watchers meeting. It's easy to feel lost in a sea of figures and formulas. But don't you worry, there are other ways to wrangle your finances. You don't have to be a math whiz to take control of your budget. We're talking about budgeting hacks, folks. Simple, effective strategies that anyone can use. Clever tricks to help you save money without all the fuss. From using apps to setting up automatic savings, there are plenty of ways to make budgeting easier. Whether you're a spreadsheet whiz or you think amortization is a type of bird, these tips are for you. No matter your level of expertise, you can find a method that works for you. So, put away your calculator and grab a piggy bank. It's time to make budgeting fun and stress-free. Let's dive into some unique budgeting hacks that are as easy as pie and a whole lot better for your wallet. Get ready to transform your financial life with these simple yet powerful tips. This first one's older than dirt, but it works like a charm, the envelope system. You remember envelopes, right? They come after the email in, you've got mail. Here's the deal. You take your cash money, and yes, you gotta use real folded money for this one, and you divide it up into different envelopes. Each envelope gets a label. Groceries, gas, entertainment, you name it. Now here's the kicker. Once an envelope is empty, that's it. No more spending in that category until the next payday. It's like a built-in guilt trip for your wallet. This next one might sound crazy, but hear me out. It's called reverse budgeting, and it's all about paying yourself first. That's right. Before you even think about bills or groceries, you set aside money for your savings goals. Think of it like this. You wouldn't go to work and not expect to get paid, right? So why treat your savings account any differently? Now I know what you're thinking. Jeff, I can barely afford my cable bill. How am I supposed to save money first? Well, it's all about starting small. Even five or ten dollars a week adds up over time. Section four, round up your savings, the spare change strategy. Speaking of small amounts, let's talk about spare change. You know those pesky pennies, nickels and dimes that always seem to end up in the bottom of your purse or pocket? Turns out they can actually make you some money. There are apps out there that will round up your purchases to the nearest dollar and automatically transfer the difference to your savings account. It's like magic, but with money. This is a great way to save without even thinking about it. It's like finding money in your laundry, except you planned it. Section five, treat yourself responsibly, the guilt-free spending jar. Now, I know what you're thinking. Jeff, this is all well and good, but what about having a little fun? How do we enjoy life without feeling guilty about spending money? Don't worry, I got you covered. You can have fun and still be responsible with your finances, introducing the guilt-free spending jar. This is your ticket to enjoying life without the guilt. Every time you get paid, set aside a small amount of money, maybe $20 or $30, in a jar specifically for fun stuff. This could be anything that brings you joy. Go to the movies, grab a fancy coffee, buy that new fishing lure you've had your eye on, whatever floats your boat. The idea is to have a dedicated fund for your personal enjoyment. The key here is to spend this money guilt-free. This is your fun money, and it's meant to be spent on things that make you happy. You've already budgeted for it, so you don't have to feel bad about enjoying yourself. This way, you can indulge in little pleasures without derailing your financial goals. It's all about balance, folks. By setting aside a small amount for fun, you ensure that you can enjoy life while still staying on track with your budget. So go ahead, treat yourself responsibly. Section 6. Ready to hack your budget? Share your tips. So there you have it, five unique budgeting hacks to help you save money and still enjoy life. Whether it's cutting down on unnecessary expenses, finding creative ways to save, or simply being more mindful of your spending, these tips can make a big difference. Remember, budgeting doesn't have to be a chore. It can actually be quite empowering to take control of your finances and see the positive impact it has on your life. With a little creativity and a whole lot of common sense, you can get your finances in tip-top shape. Think about DIY projects meal planning, or even using technology to track your spending. Have you tried any of these methods? Or do you have another unique budgeting approach? We would love to hear from you. Let us know in the comments. Your tips could help someone else on their financial journey. And if you're looking for more personal finance tips, 
Check out our next video on boosting your savings fast. We have a lot of great content lined up for you. We'll be talking about everything from couponing like a champ to negotiating your bills like a pro. Stay tuned. You won't want to miss it.